The tracked infantry fighting vehicle, IFV, known to the British Army as the Warrior, was originally known as MCV-80. It was intended to replace the old FV-432 armored personnel carrier. This vehicle was developed from the 1970s onwards. A series of pre-production prototypes built in the early 1980s. Production by GKN Defense commenced during 1986. At the time of its introduction it was one of the best IFVs in the world. The Warrior has been in British Army service since 1988, seeing combat in the Gulf in 1991 and during recent military actions in Iraq and Afghanistan. Production of this armored vehicle ceased in 1995. The original order was for over 1,000 units but Army reorganizations reduced that to 789 of all types sufficient to equip seven mechanized infantry battalions. A total of 384 warriors were produced in the infantry section vehicle form. Another 105 warriors were used as anti-tank guided missile team carriers. The British Army plans to operate these armored fighting vehicles until 2035. Version of the Warrior, the Desert Warrior, has been exported to Kuwait. The base model is the FV-510 Warrior section vehicle armed with a non-stabilized 30mm Rardin cannon and coaxial 7.62mm machine gun in a two-man turret. The main gun fires armor-piercing and HFRAG rounds. It is capable of single fire or automatic firing. Maximum rate of fire is 80 rounds per minute. This cannon has a dual-fed system and the gunner can instantly swap types of ammunition. The Rardin cannon is regarded as a very accurate weapon. It can destroy enemy armored personnel carriers and other lightly armored vehicles at ranges of up to 1500m. It can also engage low-flying helicopters. However due to the lack of stabilization this gun cannot fire accurately while the vehicle is on the move. The Warrior IFV has an all-welded aluminum armor hull and laminated steel armor turret. It provides all-round protection against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. Font Arc is likely to withstand 25mm armor-piercing rounds. During military conflicts vehicles are fitted with extra passive armor panels and cage armor for improved protection. Add-on belly plate improves survivability against mine blasts and improvised explosive devices. Cage armor protects against RPG rockets and anti-tank guided missiles. But these are not normally carried during peacetime operations. This armored fighting vehicle is also fitted with NBC protection system. For operation at night the Warrior is fitted with thermal imaging equipment. The seven troops carried enter through a door in the whole rear. Passengers enter and leave the vehicle via rear doors. Once they are inside there are sufficient combat supplies carried to maintain them in action for at least 48 hours. There are no firing ports in the hull in order to improve armor protection. The Warrior IFV is powered by a Perkins CV8 TCA turbocharged diesel engine, developing 550 horsepower engine is located at the front. It is mated to an Allison for speed automatic transmission. Engine and transmission are built in one module and can be replaced in field conditions within 40 minutes. Warrior is fast for its class of vehicles. With a maximum road speed of 75 km per hour it can keep up with Challenger 2 MBTs over the toughest terrain. Warriors may be fitted with dozer blades or light mine-clearing plows. Several trial armament installations have been tested on Warrior including one with a 90mm gun turret. British vehicles have seen frequent use and are undergoing an upgrade program. It includes new armor, new turret, and 40mm cannon. Over 600 of these IFVs will be upgraded to keep them in service. Remaining warriors will be converted to armored recovery vehicles.